Guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, uh, I want to. This is a follow on video from the previous video that I did looking at correlation and more importantly looking at uh, zero order partial and also part correlations. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're just going to explore them uh, in this video by actually generating them particular correlations through SPSS. Uh, so just maybe just to get things started, maybe I should just give you an overview of the data set that I have here. Uh, I have three variables, okay? Uh, each of the variables was measured on, I have approximately 300, approximately 300, uh, let's say, employees. Uh, each variable, the first variable is job satisfaction. It's a measure of how satisfied the individual is in their in, in their in their current job. Uh, then we have job engagement, how engaged they are with the, with their current job, and then their propensity to stay is the likelihood that they're going with high values of propensity to stay means that they've no intention to leave the organization. Low values meaning that they've got an intention to leave the organization at some stage in the future. Uh, <clears throat> of these three variables uh, and what I want to do is I just want to do a, a correlation analysis uh, across these particular three variables uh, so just a zero order correlation within SPSS and we've seen before in, in previous videos but let's just run it here I can go to analyze I can go to correlate bivariate okay uh, and in this case let me just reset here what I'm doing is actually I'll just put in the, the three variables across into the variable view uh, fields here and I'm looking for a Pearson correlation I'm just going to hit OK on that and we get this output window here okay so you can actually see the three variables uh, this this cross tabulation of the variables with themselves and with the other variables you can see that when I look at propensity to stay here and uh, it's highly correlated with job satisfaction 0.575 strong correlation there uh, a weak, weakish correlation here between job uh, propensity to stay and job engagement and as expected perfect with itself uh, so these correlations that we're actually getting here are zero order correlations they don't take into consideration the effect of any other variable it's simply two variables bivariate that are correlated together ignores all other influences okay and uh, so that's our zero order correlations and then what we could also do is we could actually also in analyze we could go into correlate and we could look at partial okay uh, so I could actually look at the correlation between two variables let's say propensity to stay and job engagement or let's say job satisfaction uh, above and beyond let's say the influence of job engagement now don't forget this is a partial correlation here partial correlation meaning uh, what we're controlling for here is job engagement so the amount of variance explained the amount of variance, let's say, with respect to propensity to stay, that's explained by job engagement is removed. And also the amount of variance with respect to job satisfaction that's explained by job engagement is removed. So when we do a partial correlation, uh, whatever we control for, its influence with respect to its, its, its ability to account for variance is removed from both variables in the bivariate case. Okay? So if I hit OK here, what we actually get is we get a table here, which is which is the controlling for job engagement, and now inside here we have propensity to stay is correlated at 0 0.570. So you can actually see there was actually a reduction. Okay, propensity to stay and job satisfaction uh, originally not taken into consideration the effect of any other variable was correlated at 0 0.575. 0.575 and then when we take into consideration the variance uh, explained by job engagement with respect to propensity to stay and also job satisfaction it reduces down to 0.570 and okay? uh, not much of a reduction there uh, sure but anyway that's the, that's the partial correlations there so I mean what we'd have to do also is we'd have to if I want to partial out let's say a job satisfaction and look at the relationship between propensity to stay and job engagement I'd have to run that again yeah probably the best way to do this and this is actually sort of what I wanted to look at in this particular video is from a regression perspective uh, is actually let's uh, from a regression perspective uh, where what we do is we create our then we we define our dependent variables and our independent variables and we ask the regression analysis to actually generate our correlations our zero order correlations our partial and also our part correlations okay so there's no way actually for us to get the part correlations here uh, just going through the analyze correlate bivariate or partial okay there's no way that we can actually get them out there okay so what we have to do is we have to do them through the through the, the regression analysis 
and that's what I want to do but I also want to have a look at the residuals as well and show you that actually by generating residuals we can actually generate these things ourselves uh, through the analysis uh, analyze and correlate so let's actually let's do this so maybe I'll just close this window down here we start to fresh